Hi everyone, how are you doing? Today we are going to do an amazing project, 3D modeling project in, in SketchUp and I call this project Sticky Ferrari and because that car looks like a Ferrari and but its concept you know with these old sticks that's why I call this Sticky Ferrari so this is the our project I'm going to give you instruction how to do this and I, I, I give you some steps and you're gonna follow them and finally you will have it if you want you can modify this you know different and then there will be different car gonna come up so let's get start our project I will open a new new page but before opening for starting I would like to take your attention to the plan before you draw before you start doing your 3D model, firstly you have to make your plan in your in your in your head. It's like example, I will do this car and as you see there are four tires there. So these two tires also will be on another side. So if I do that side, okay, and I'm gonna get copy of this and paste, so I'm gonna duplicate that one. And then I will move this to to other side and then connect the make the connection with these thick lines so that's the that's the plan so firstly I will draw two different tires like this one of them small in the front I will get a small one in the back I get the big one and then so this part this part I mean let me show you from here this part what I selected will be also in another side so I will start the project from that one so let's go to new page and from the new page okay we can start drawing from here and I will just first draw a line from here to there okay and then I wanna go up a little bit from here too so it, I want to draw one vertical line so I need to get reference of the blue axis so if it's blue which means your line is going to come up vertical uh, and then I will go down a little bit so this is the the place of my uh, back tire and then I will go to until uh, the front tire part okay and then I'm going to cancel this drawing because I want to continue from here so I want to draw another vertical line to to make the place for the front tire where I'm gonna put it so <clears throat> and then I will do that one okay that's it so we have finished one part all right and now it's time to place the tires I will get the, the circle <clears throat> if you wanna you can also use call the circle with the C from the keyboard as a shortcut let me tell you something about drawing so your drawing always becomes parallel to your looking example I look like this so that that's also looking at me like in a 90 degree so it, it becomes like uh, parallel to me if I draw that one in that position let me delete that one so so that circle also will be parallel to me and but it will look vertical okay but I want to make this bigger all right so it's cool and then I will draw another here here we go and then I will use push and pull tool to take it front if you wanna make the thickness of the tire same so there is a uh, one technique I think you have to learn that's also very useful technique you can use this for uh, other uh, for other models when you work so you you can you can move this push and pull tool 
to another tire and it will get the thickness of uh, the first tire as a reference and then they will be same like this perfectly let me show you again so you're gonna move the push and pull tool to the end point of the first tire and it will get the reference they will be in the same thickness alright so you can also apply the same thing for this side and now I get the the reference of the last tire for the first tire and they will be in the same position you see that one perfect we did a good job okay guys now we're gonna duplicate this one after the selection and I will do control C and control V and now it is uh, one one of the challenging part okay I put it there so the most of the time it's really hard to settle to the place you want but you can arrange it by using move tool so it needs to get down a little bit okay I think we did this perfect and now I will connect the, the other parts and uh, I will also connect these tires oops so here it says that on the face make sure you will do them when it's on the face okay so it's okay now I will do also for this one connecting when they were on the face so we are doing good job and then I will do the back side so from now on you know we did the the hardest part of the project and uh, I think you can do the rest of them easily you can also modify the the project uh, with different design and now uh, I would like to introduce you another tool on the top so which is an offset tool it uh, basically you know when you have selection you click once and it gets the it duplicates this outline of the selection and you can resize the this duplicated selection the outline of the selection and you can use this inside of the place or outside of the place but I'm gonna use this selection in the inside so I, I will use this for making a tire and I will do this also for the back tire that's good so let's do the, apply this for no it wasn't good because here it's alright you know what you can also work with specific numbers example for the back you can look at here I will do this 0 0.9 okay I do the same thing for the other one 0 0.9 alright <clears throat> and do the uh, another thing for the first tire I do this that one 0 0.7 another 0 0.7 0 0.7 okay and now I will get the push and pull tool and now I will get the push and pull tool and then arrange it like this uh, I will set this 
1.2 all right and this one also 1.2 and this one should be 1.4 and I will do also the same thing for this side oh, now I need to do this for inside not outside 1.4 all right so I realized that uh, there should be some there is a some place that should be erased and I will activate my eraser pressing E and here we go and then it's we remove that one it's pretty good I will draw here a rectangle and uh, I will this make it design here to make it look like a light all right and now I will remove some unnecessary parts here we go now it looks like a light and I want to do the same thing for the other side if you click double and you make a selection of this closed area but if you click three times it's going to select all the places which is connected to that shape I will just click double to select only this selection to select only this closed area and then I make a control C and control V to duplicate the selection and then I will settle this over here now it seems like I have two lights and left and right let's place this perfectly all right and now I will do another thing for uh, the, the back side and uh, I will copy paste this control C V and I will color them you can press B to activate the paint and then I choose the colors and make it reddish so in the final part we will place here one chair and you can also move this with the M tool to place this any place any, anywhere you want and I get the push and pull tool okay now it doesn't look like actually a chair uh, but we want to make it a chair where uh, the driver is going to lean his back um, I will also separate this with a line tool to make a back part of the chair and I will get down this part not that one and this one and now we will do the steering wheel part and I'll make a connection here Oh, now we're gonna make a steering wheel part but first you have to get a you know a connection between tire and the steering wheel here you go we did this and now I will do it like this and then finally draw here a um, circle but I, I want to make my job a little bit easier I get it down a little bit and then get the circle
and now I found this point so when you find this point which means you can draw this uh, vertically and then it will stay like this if you want you can draw a bigger one and then now I will use this one so this is a steering wheel and then finally we will put our driver I took the driver from the 3D warehouse you can go to the window and then find a 3D warehouse okay so again the same thing he after the wrong placement and you can use the this move tool and place it here. Ah, so we done the project. Perfect. So you can also scale that one. We will not leave it like that. And the uh, scale is, you know, stands here. You're going to press the S after selecting the tool. First you have to select the object and then press the S on the keyboard and then here we go we're gonna resize it now here we go we almost finished the project only to change the colors of the tires and then and then we finish the project I will prefer to use asphalt <laughs> not this one of course I get the black one for the tires better it's, it's better like this and for the surface of the tire I will prefer that one and here we go our project is done okay thank you guys for watching this tutorial I hope you enjoyed you learned something new and see you in the other 3D modeling projects. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.